previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. And now we're on episode two. I like this game. Um... Hopefully, this, um, this will continue. It's, it's nice. That's the way I can describe it. Oh, the dreaded alarm clock. I'm assuming this is the next day. Ooh, I like this music. They play nice folk music with us. I just hope I don't have to turn off the sound. Because sometimes they take off the sound on YouTube. Because for some reason, even though it's in the game, it's um it's um copyrighted. Or licensed. Which that happens with some of the um videos that I had in Rocket League, which is annoying. Oh my god, that melody. So melodic. <laughs> I like her shirt. Nice little techniques. <laughs> Keep me clean. I still need a shower. Eh, why don't I make my bed? I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Huh. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Can I take a shower first? Let's look at my totally awesome room. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me in the <laughs> Space Needle. That was a good hockey game, and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Huh. Let's look at those sticky notes. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Bullshit, I'm drowning time. Time is like a river of Einstein. My head hurts, but... I have to rewind and think about it. Yeah, I'm not reading all this stuff. Ooh, camera. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a selfie. But I'll look at this picture. I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. I won't bully her all the time. I'm actually starting to think maybe I should get her on my good side. You know, Drink keep her friends close. I can bring you back. Your enemies closer. I hold the power over life itself. <coughs> that action will have a consequence. Whenever they do that, it, it makes me scared. Whenever they say now everything I, have I do. I wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. It always makes me scary. Like everything I do. I miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Like for better or worse. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, right. I, I live in my dorm. 
I forgot, this isn't even my house. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. my uh where's my shower stuff like all the actions I do have a consequence for better or worse which um I don't care for okay Max let's hit the showers now Gordon seriously do not forget I need those papers before tonight like now thanks Sherry yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Oh. Look right across from her. <clears throat> Going back to the consequences thing, it says everything you do has a consequence, which means, for better or for worse, it always makes you second judge it. Always judge your um, actions. And makes you second guess what you're going to do. Uh, why don't I talk to some people? Ow! Really? I wonder. Ow! That was awkward. Wait, I can't talk to her? You okay, Alyssa? There we go. Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Hmm. I wonder. What if I warned her? Oh, toilet paper still is still there. Let's speed that up a little bit. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. That action has a consequence. I don't think I can warn her all the time, so let's play the, the safe route. I'm trying to accelerate this a little bit. There we go. I'll just be walking. Walking like I pretend I didn't even notice. You okay, Alyssa? Immature. All right. Macking on those bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. What's up, man? Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Wait, how about Hello, that? Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Victoria? What about Zachary? Victoria is the, my enemy, right? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You hmm. have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hmm. Let me talk to Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. 
I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Those are pretty cool. Ooh, where's that music come from? Clearly <laughs> not a Sorry. morning person. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. All right, let me hit the showers. Oh. It's Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Time to shower. Bye, Bradbury. So I gotta do the Bradbury thing. Oh, something is up with her. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? The oh, video of no. you clubbing didn't look like homework. Oh. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark... Mr. Jefferson knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Bring it on. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. <laughs> anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Wait, how do you put on your pajamas after after taking a shower? Like, no. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Let's erase this. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. That will have consequences. Now let me use this. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. That had consequences. Eh. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Rachel is a whore. <laughs> <sighs> Damn. 
just gotta make sure my enemies are closer. Just gotta remember that. Can't be too mean to her. Which one's my room? Nope, that's Brooke's room. Victoria's room. My room. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Let me get dressed first. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah, I don't care if I was a super genius. I'd, um, I'd still be fashionable. Uh, I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Happy artist, filthy whore. Really? You couldn't call, you couldn't call me anything no a little more original? Here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Ha! Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Let me just use my laptop Lauren for a second. Lauren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey, Matt. Uh, let me read this. Hey, Matt. Uh, too much time. Too much time. Hey, Max. The doctor is in the house. I've been thinking along and hard about your real request. I just seen you a bunch of I just seen you a bunch of psychics and science links without further ado. Here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor ex expects a full explanation for you, your newfound chrono interest. The time machine, nineteen sixty version. Full of easy spunk pass sci fi, blah 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 blah. Premiere, lo fi time time to Dallas, brilliant. I'll explain it after you watch it, after time, HD. But I hope you guys are not bored by this. HD Wells uses his time machine to Jack Cheese Ripper uh, San Francisco. Pulp Fiction. Serious. The switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity. Plus, Alma. Somewhere in time. Big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Mackerson. The best kind of uh, chick flick. You'll cry like a baby. I did. Time slip. You can borrow a copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can just watch it together. Sony Chiba and his soldiers end up back in samurai days, basically tanks versus ninjas. Time Cup. John Claude Van Damme. Huh. Does the splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> That's all the time. Ah, puns. That's all the time I have for now, as I do have actual quantum physics to plow through. And not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that you discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Don't hint, I'm leaving Doctor Who. So that's by Warren. Oh god. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Uh, you know, you guys could just pause this and then skip this if you guys don't want to watch it. Watch this part. Join the Chrononauts. Time travel is not just science fiction. History, oh, this is called following. History has a record of numerous, how many of these? This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Maybe I'll read these later. There's another one. Okay, I'll read this stuff later. Alright, 
Matt Sussie, Rachel Vittoria, David Kate, Nathan Jefferson, Principal Warren, Chloe. You are evil 40 minutes or else. What time is it now? Oh, Mom. Hi, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plants, but we gave you, but don't drown them either. Mommy. Why do I have Victoria's number? That's why I want to know. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. I'll look at that stuff on my laptop later. Ugh. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Is that who I think it is? Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm... Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. No need to go there now. Oh, right. Welcome to Black Hill. Uh, let's see... Kate, 222, got it. See, 219, 221, 220, 222, right here. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Oh. <laughs> this isn't good. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh. Doesn't sound like you. I'm gonna say that's awful. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. Oh, I'm listening. Oh, God. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. 
I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, if you're we'll figure dead, it out. Your church should help you. I'll check back later, okay? That's what a church should do. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Your friends close, and then your enemies closer. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Oh, okay. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Go to the police or look for proof. Oh god. Okay. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. Um This is Nathan Prescott. He's a rich he's a rich kid. I'm gonna say look for proof. That's always best. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. One thing I didn't notice was... Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. You see book. that girl on the right? Everything looks so fun and colorful and... She looks kind of alone. Positive. Watching everything. Funny! That funny? Trophy earned. Field of view. Nah, it's not my business. I can only snoop for so long. I feel like I made the right decision. I, I'm not telling her to do nothing, but she wants to go around with it. She needs proof. Max, food. Two whales. Cut. See you there. Don't hurt your finger. Stex thing. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Ha. Uh, not my business. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Oh, okay. All right. I know Kate. I feel like I made the right call with Kate. Even though everything I say and do is gonna backfire in a negative way. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to the janitor. Oh, it's Taylor. Oh, great. Let's see what happens if I speak with Hi, her. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? 
I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Huh. What about that? This is Nathan's father. This message to you. This message to let you know that attempts of slander and blackmail on my son will met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student of Black Walter Childs. I hope you are the last. Consider this this your final flight warning. Rex. Oops, sorry. That was a private number. That was Nathan, and that was Nathan's father. All right, bring it on. I got, I got powers. I got time trial powers, bitch. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate? An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was the new easier than I better. thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. What did you say it was? Wait, hold up. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. By the way, thank you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it... Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl... An old friend. I bet you were glad to see her black... He's dangerous. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Okay. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what... Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought. I like Horn. He's a cool dude. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> 